Ravenous Horde. Nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay, first off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes, mostly I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door! I know you are in there, Cindy and Tree! Do not think that I do not know what you wrote. Check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want to gear up? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cyclists to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? Her buddies would have spaced your stupid Yumi butt if me and Groot hadn't busted it. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather, I'd turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better.
Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? They appear to be 7,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. Consider my initial proposal. Oh, not Fin Fang Fu. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Fu. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. But we're not selling the Morris crap. What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing for it. Fin Zone is always holding out on My us. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be wrong to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice. Your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakara. Real mature those guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Will. Willing to pay for this kind of thing. No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable in this. Perhaps we should really consider a course of action. Yep. Just capturing the infamous. No! I am says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Fu. It's brilliant! You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am. No, you don't! This ain't something you can pretend! Are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that. Okay. Could work. So, Guru, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd! We help him for six years. Small, ugly ones. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is still filled with rage. Really? Really? Outbreak. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not. I also vote for the creep, at least. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Group, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am a group. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying in. Weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of this rule. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Yep, no problem. Wait, no, he's not. 
us. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from the base. You know how much I like scoping. I'm sure the leafy one is ready for this. Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. And it's not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here! Less whining, more walking! Hey, Stormlord! We ain't seriously walking through this! It'll take forever in this storm! Stop complaining! The hardship will strengthen your spirit! I face more than enough hardship! Thank you very much! At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch! We got this! Just don't fall and we'll be fine! Agreed! The Space Lady Hellbender's Rage, head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, your child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Perfectly reasonable. And yet you cower from Lady Hellbender's majestic rage. I'm not cowering. This storm really ain't doing it for me, Quill. It is no storm. It is her monstrous breath. Yeah, well, her breath ain't doing it for me either. She doesn't even know we're here. Can we at least agree this was the worst landing in history? <laughs> so what if it's the right planet? It's the wrong side of the right planet. I, for one, embrace your challenge, Lady Hellbender.
should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Ah, uh, guys. Are you Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Cutting into them is pretty fun, right? 
Like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! This husk should be easier to climb than the bloody terrain. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting out a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Will it continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. <laughs> Mud in this area smells queer. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. I'm going to scout ahead! Try not to kill yourselves on the way up! There they are! Wing controls! Need your expert skills again, Rocket. Anyone else hear something? Hear what? It was probably Drax's stomach. My stomach would bellow like a wild beast. I am not hungry. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. 